So um, they're regaling me out in the hallway with tales about how great of a director you are, and I didn't even know. Well, that shows you how great I'm not. <laughs> you know? well, if I really were great, somebody would have heard about it. Well, they've heard about it, and they oh, love your film. I love directing. So. I'm very happy to be directing when I'm directing. So. Well, I'm wondering, what did you take from Wes Anderson, and what were you able to give to Wes Anderson as a director? How well, from that? from Wes Anderson, I took something you can't take. But what I really was most struck by was how, how his personality was so forceful on the set. And I don't mean just because he orders people around, which he does if he has to, but he was in such total control and total charge that it relaxed everybody. That's what happens. You know, movie sets are like wild horses. And if you don't immediately set limits and but you don't have to, you can do it kindly, you can do it quietly, you don't have to yell and scream. In fact, yelling and scream is probably the least effective way to do, to exert your authority. But Wes has a kind of a natural ability that even is better when he's, you know, it's even more in place when he's directing, it's not less in place. You know what to do, he can tell you what to do, just being around him makes you feel taken care of. Um, and I, and I just, I, I just, it, it is, it really is a reminder to me that, as Dorothy said at, you know, at the end of The Wizard of Oz, I had this all along. We all have the ability to do an awful lot of things. And when you see somebody do them as easily and naturally as Wes can accomplish his complicated vision there, it's just a lesson. It just makes you want to, like, it just makes you want to be yourself better and more by being around him. Now, it's a funny thing. I, I didn't learn about, like, how to do shots or anything, because... <laughs> You yeah. just kind of make your way through that as, as whatever is your way of doing that. But I, 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 I did deeply try to absorb what he was like. Well, and you hear a lot of new directors talk about how they immerse themselves in the scene and they're yelling at actors, yell this line out. And he's not like that at all from what I gather. It's like very structured to what he wants. And I know you're known for your improvisational skills. I'm wondering, how does being on a set like this kind of change well, the way you come it at doesn't, it? Doesn't it doesn't really at all. I mean. My improvisation stuff, which is from being in these wonderful Chris Guest movies that is just unbelievably lucky and happy that I was able to stumble into that, you know, and I really love it. But it doesn't, but, but you're always improvising. I mean, you have to be, even if you're improvising, it's the same lines, you know, it, it doesn't mean you have to change things. It doesn't mean you can't memorize it. Somehow or other, you have to be able to forget what was happening and do whatever's happening at the, at the time. But the magic weird thing about acting, if it's going well, is... It is like you're saying it for the first time. It is like you're making it up, but just happens to be exactly what was written by somebody three years ago in a script that's been hanging around. And I don't know how people can, I can do it sometimes, but I'm just amazed when I watch other actors. I'm like, God, I, how are they doing that right now? <laughs> and I try to hook onto that train, you know, as best I can, because I think it's all improvisation. Sometimes you're improvising on text that you, you already know, but that doesn't mean you don't already know how you're doing it. You don't know how you're reacting and how somebody's listening to you and how they're going to say their part. Well, and I think one of my favorite things about you as an actor is this um, ability you have to be intimidating. I'm wondering, when did you first oh. discover that you had that and how have you used that to, I don't know, maybe in this performance? I don't really know anything about that. But <clears throat> I do believe that my natural shyness and awkwardness has created some sort of, by mistake, film persona of evil and and controlling power that all comes from my terror, basically. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You know. uh, oh, I love it. I feel like you're going to fire me at any minute. No, oh, okay. <laughs> when I'm watching the movie, not right now. Mm. Well, I did fire some people in movies. Yeah, maybe but, that's uh, but, why. I... But not in real life much. <laughs> okay, well, thanks so much.